It was the 2014 World Series, and you notice there's a guy in a Marlins jersey. Very, very strange. So I'm focused on him, I see him. It's weird once, and then you see him again, and again, and again, and again. It's because of that color, that orange that pops out. It is the most outrageous jersey. It's begging to be recognized. You can't not notice him. Why is this guy here? Who is this guy? Tell us who this guy is. If you watch sports, you know who I am. People know me. And they go, aren't you the Marlins guy? In Kansas City, they told me I was Batman. And that's a very good analogy. I am definitely like Bruce Wayne, and then I put on the costume and I become Batman. Last year and the year before, both times I went to sporting events 301 days, I did 17 doubleheaders and a tripleheader. As of now, I've been to 27 Super Bowls. I've been to 94 World Series games. 90 NBA Finals games, and hundreds and hundreds of basketball and baseball playoff games. What is my name? My name is Lawrence Levy, and I'm a workers' comp attorney known as the Marlins Man. He has made himself a celebrity by being the guy that is at every game. He's at, like, a different city literally every night. The guy's always at the game. Everyone wishes that he was him. It's like the dream come true for a baseball fan, really. He's everywhere. Yeah. Familiar face. Marlins man in the house. If you build it, he will come. I mean, any ballpark, he's there. Oh, there he is again. Some months, he's away 27 days, just traveling around back to back, going to everything from NBA to the Triple Crown. American Pharaoh is crossing the finish line, and Marlins Man is freaking standing there right beyond the rail. He's not a normal person. I became a real, live, talking Where's Waldo. He is such a fixture of the crowd. MLB The Show, the video game, had to put him in. I mean, think about that. You can place this guy everywhere. I was in San Francisco, and all these people were like, hey, did you see Marlon's man? Marlon's man's here. I just saw it on Instagram. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I can't believe this. Like, this is real life. Nobody wants my autograph anymore. They want a selfie. It was 88,000 photos of me posted in one year. That has gotten me attention from people you wouldn't even imagine. I'll never forget. Carlos Correa comes up to him, and the hottest rookie in the game is coming up to a fan, instantaneously knowing who he is. It doesn't work that way. I didn't wake up one day and say, I want to wear orange to be different. That never was planned. It just happened. In 03, when the Marlins won, at the end of the game, this is what I used to look like. White with teal, that's me. Tossie's just Lawrence Levy, the you know, season ticket holder that's been around forever from day one. He blended in until he had that orange jersey. If Luria had not changed the color of his jerseys back in 2012, we wouldn't be sitting here. When you turn on your TV, you expect him to be there. When he's not there, people say, what happened? Where is he? Why isn't he at that game? Where could he be? And I'm here. He is a great ambassador to the idea that there's nothing like being there yourself. I see him in Yankee Every, games, Mets games, Marlins like, games, Cubs games, man. Right? People can't believe that this guy basically shows up at every important game. He's unavoidable. Yeah. Yo, as soon as I saw him, I was like, it's the Marlins, man. Yeah. That's what I was calling I do hear a lot now, oh, I wish I could do that. I wish I had that life. I tell them there's a trade off. You don't have a family life. If I was married with kids, I wouldn't be able to do this. And I am 60 years old, I'm not a father. My family is baseball. And I want to share it with people, not just me. He doesn't want to go alone. He doesn't just buy one ticket. 
So he'd take friends with him. And then he started saying, you know what? I want to make new friends. Who wants to go to the game? He brings people to games that can't afford to go to games, certainly can't get those seats. People don't realize the amount of good that, that he does. He will give all these tickets away to complete strangers for no reason other than just paying it forward. Now, it's so much more about the fan interaction to me than the game. I can't control the game, but the interaction I can control. If I sit in my own seat and don't talk to anybody, or to meet everybody in the section, have them meet each other. Sports not only brings us together, it helps us forget our problems. Whatever it is, when you're at a sporting event, especially baseball, you forget about it. He better get a strike, he better steal, he better get a home run. Is he gonna bunt? Is he gonna throw a curveball? You forget about your problems. That's priceless. That's what baseball does. What happened was, they tell me, you have liver cancer. I wasn't gonna get better, I didn't have long to live. And I did the biopsy, and it came back and it was all negative and normal. I made a promise to myself. I never again want to say, I wish I was there. I need to get there. I need to be sitting where I want to sit. And that's how I started living my life. I'm having too much fun doing this. I don't want to stop doing this. I have no reason to stop. Can you imagine that we would ever have a fan that would be so relevant that people would notice when he's not there? That's Marlins, man.